Hello Eurovision fans, thank you so much for coming to my channel Eurovision Histories. Today I want to do another episode of my Pro Contra series in which I play devil's advocate and try to find all the arguments for and against a country winning Eurovision. And today I want to do Lazara and La France, listing all the arguments for them winning Eurovision 2023. The Contra video should already be out. Thank you so much for your comments in the community tab of my channel, which I have used for this video. So let's get right to it. The first argument, many of you have mentioned this, it is a stereotypically French entry. When we look at the televote in the last couple of years, we kind of notice that people expect a song that fits the stereotype they have of a country. And I do think that Evidemment plays with this a little bit. Voila did really, really well two years ago by doing exactly that. It was a French chanson with a very dramatic and theatrical performance. And Evidemment also has chanson aspects, but also a dance beat. One of my followers said, um, and I really like that comment, it's glamour, it's fashion, it's disco, it's chanson, it's France. And I do think that people kind of look for that in Eurovision and will vote for France for that very reason. Then you mix tradition and modernity in this song. There is the cabaret chanson beginning and different parts of the song are in this style, but you also have a modern disco beat. So you kind of appeal to different people who like disco than other people who like chanson and you might just reach both of them. And I do think that this melancholic disco style is extremely distinct and will stand out in the field of songs we have this year. And I also do think that the vibe and the atmosphere of the song and of the whole performance hold it together. It could seem a bit forced and a bit strange to put these two music styles together, but I do think that especially Lazara holds it together and brings it together in a great product in the end. Then it appeals to a specific demographic. These are people who have been alive maybe in the 80s and the 90s. They like disco music. They like also chanson that appeals to an even older demographic. So I do think that that is also a possible pro argument for France. And Lazara is a major argument because her vocals are very impressive, especially the vocal tone, which is very rich and very distinct from everyone else in the competition this year. She has the Edith Piaf R that people will remember. Also, her style is just out of this world. It's full of fashion and glamour and diva. And of course, her whole performance and her movements are just Again, quintessentially what people think France is and what a diva is, and this will really help her with juriors and with the televote as well. There's also a big vow moment when she sings the climax of this song, Chanter la Grande France. I'm not gonna sing it, but that is a really memorable moment. And I think it is a smart move to sing the name of the country you are representing in the climax of your song, because if people are like, who was that diva with the great fashion style? Oh yeah, she sang about La Grande France, so I have to vote for France. That's not a major argument, but I think uh, it is actually smart to include the name of your country in your song. Then it also has very engaging lyrics for those viewers that do speak French, um, very much about how the artist is giving her all to the public. And this is kind of in the voila narrative. It continues the story of voila in a way. And people will remember voila, at least some of them, and will think, oh, France is on the right track, so let's support them. And that might be another reason why they give their vote to France. And then at the moment of recording this video, this might change, she is fourth in the odds, which means she will get a lot more attention than other entries. She will be in French media, especially as one of the favorites and people outside of France might watch the show more French people outside of France and vote for it. She might also get a better running order position. And, and this is a big, big uh, point. She 
actually can win the jury vote, I think. She is a major favorite to win the jury vote because of the vocals, because of the style of the performance. But I do think it also has a lot to appeal to televoters. Another follower, a subscriber, commented that it's basically Emily in Paris put pushed into three minutes and people can really connect to that and, uh, and that can appeal to people. So it might get a good televote and win the jury vote and that could actually be enough to win the whole thing. So these are all the arguments I could find and my subscribers could find for France winning Eurovision. If you have more, please let us know in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this one, Eurovision week is coming up. I'm so excited. Um, to talk to you, to read your comments. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you for my next video. Bye-bye.